Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Boss Beatdown. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Zomboss. Zomboss is a main story boss, which you can find here in the Shattered Grave Barrow. Zomboss is a different sort of boss where you will actually get to fight her uh, three different times. Um, the first two times is a more of a skeleton, so you can just use any form of cryo weapon. You should first take a form of a badass skeleton, then a mage. And then the final Zomboss, she will actually have a yellow bar and a red bar. And like with the majority of the bosses in this game so far, they're actually pretty tough. The, you're, as far as I know, at this point, the game just got released. There isn't a lot of easy ways to do things, however, this will be an easier way to go about it, as since I am using the Stabilmancer, so that's what we'll be using for this guide. Alright, so what we're going to use to kill this kill this person is I was lucky enough to get two purples. A purple uh, Jacob's Pistol seems to be doing a lot of damage, and the next one is uh, just a, a fast sword, so I have a I have specifically a sword. This is because of the fast attack speed, and I also have the vampire pommel, which gives me uh, regen in my both health and shield. And then I have uh, some extra weapons, you know, like I have Purian SMG, I have a Vladoff AR, Jacob's shotgun, then I've also got a, uh, a laser left. if I want to do that no, as well. Right. So, what yes, we're going to do is we're going to spawn in, cast our spell, action skill. See, that didn't do a whole lot of damage, so... We'll constantly be throwing spells, too. Because we have dark magic spell equipped, we get health regen. Go to action skill one more time, spell. Time. Get the spell. Now, as soon as the shield is done, switch over to something strong like a Jacob's pistol. Now we can just take him out. There we go. A little bit more. And she's dead. And she also dropped the, uh, Grossa spell, that's nice. You can actually use that against her. Alright, the next kill we're going to do is around the same thing. We're actually not going to use, uh, the laser just because it doesn't deal a whole lot of damage. We're actually going to switch over to the, the Nightshade, which is basically the Sandhawk of this game. Uh, then we're going to use our purple spell that we got in the last kill. And since, uh, this has two charges and you just kind of splat us, what we're going to do is we're going to wait till he jumps down, uh, do one splat while he's walking towards us, and another one closer to us. Ouch. Then throw down our action skill. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll switch over to Cryo. She's, she's going to jump down. One there. And one here. Throw down this. And action skill. Now, the reason why I'm doing the Cryo is because if we go over to my skills, and in this spec right about here, it says exploit, so whenever I deal a status effect, so that means any form of element, I can deal extra damage. Spell. Healing. Now, we're going over to this. Go back and switch over to your... Ooh, hey there. Jacob's rifle, or Jacob's pistol. Load. Spell. Spell. Okay, I can't do my action skill now. There we go. Let's switch over to this. Now, I also have... I forgot to mention this. I also have my Staff of Mantis armor that sucks. So I believe this is a unique you get in a specific part of the story. Now, I can see at the bottom is I deal 20% more damage. Uh, against skeletons and zombies, which is why I'm wearing it. Uh, this should be, by the red text, this is unique, so you should be able to wear this for this boss. Let's say you find some good armor. There we go. 
so for this one more time. You can also use these pillars to avoid his singularity sort of attack. There we go. Spell. Spell. Action spell. And you kind of want to leave this box too, since it walks all, all sorts all over the place. No magic left. There we go. This, and we can finish them off with the pistol. I've got all the magic I need. There we go, and level up. That's for making me look at you. Now since we are level 9, we can start using our other action skill. This unlocks level 7. Now I can do this to turn invisible, and this is what we'll do. So we'll equip this. Just try it out. Like oh, I said. Or wait for it to jump down. One. To action skill. Now for this, it's this one like Fade Away, where I can do ec uh, all critical hit damage, and I can do extra critical hit damage. It's kind of like Fade Away, Deception, and I also get buffs from a lot of my skills from doing this. I can go up to her, and I can start doing a little bit more damage, because it's crazy. But since I don't have Vampire, since I believe I have Archmage, I actually won't be able to regenerate uh, shields or health. Oh, how is she hitting? Interesting. So it's kind of like Fade Away where you get automatic crits. Puddle. Cryo for extra damage. Now, fade away. Puddle. Get all up in there. In fact, we can even switch over. Do a bit more damage because uh, Black Powder does more single damage per shot. And she is dead. There you go. But anyway, that's going to have to end this episode for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you really liked it, make sure to sub. Hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.